Want to make a really fun interactive card? Using Lawn Fawn's newest Wheelie Great Day and Costa Critters. Now the die set doesn't really make the Ferris wheel spin, but I'll show you how to do that coming up next. I use my Misty stamping tool to stamp out the images from the Lawn Fawn sets that I'm using to make this card. A Misty is a great tool because if the images don't stamp clearly the first time, they're already placed for perfect positioning and re-stamping the second time. I've masked off the cabs and the, uh, the base of the Ferris wheel. I really only want the center wheel portion to stamp, and I'm going to have to do this twice. For the second stamping, I need the base, but I don't want the cabs, so I've only masked off the cabs. For any of the uh, areas that are missing stamping, I'll just fill that in with um, alcohol safe pen. So I have stamped the Ferris wheel essentially four times because I need six cabs and then um, a circle with the stand and a plain circle. It'll become clearer once it gets colored in and cut out. I've got a selection of Copic markers and I'm ready to color. So I've traced circles around the Ferris wheel sections and then I'll ink them in. After I've done that, I will use the die to cut out the Ferris wheel with the base and then I'll fussy cut around the other Ferris wheel. So I used a die to cut up this Ferris wheel and you can see that I fussy cut the cabs off one side and I've extended the spokes from the center of the wheel and I'm going to fussy cut the rest of the cab off leaving a eighth inch margin on each side of the spoke just for strength. And it doesn't matter if the heavier lines show here versus anywhere else because you're not really going to see this one. This will be behind the other wheel. What I'm doing is just, you can see I use circle dies to cut this out and I've traced some openings through the spokes and I'm fussy cutting those out. And this is where the cabs with the critters are going to attach. Okay, I've got all the pieces cut out. Now we're ready to put the background together. So I've inked up my background. I used a little bit of Distress ink, and I'm trying to create a pavement uh, just by using a small blending brush and dotting it down, sort of like a bokeh technique. And I used the Lawn Fawn uh, Cloudy stencils to create some sky. So now we're ready to assemble. And what I did with the Ferris wheel was I taped the two together and I poked a hole in the center uh, to keep them aligned. All right, so what I'm going to do next is poke a hole um, along the outer wheel at each spoke to uh, be able to attach the cabs. And I've trimmed the cabs, I've fussy cut the cabs to the, to the edge. That's just a matter of preference, but I think it's a little neater. And then I'm going to attach the cabs with these mini brads by Recollections. I think it's a little, um, makes it a little more fun because then the cabs can spin. That way they're not stationary and uh, I don't know, it's just more fun. So I'm poking holes through the center of the cabs as well to fit on the spokes. So let's see, I just kind of eyeball it. I don't have to get real detailed with this, real exact, because it's just fun when you get it all assembled. Nobody's going to notice any of the any of the slight uh, discrepancies. Now, in order for the cabs to turn on the Ferris wheel. I have to have these cushions and I use a stack of three per cab and I stack it, a, a large, a small, and then the cab and then I attach it to the wheel and on the back of the wheel I put one more and then I put a brad through the whole thing. 
So it's a small, a large, the wheel, and then a small one on the back of the wheel, and then a brad through the whole thing. So all the cabs have been punched, and they all have their cushions. The Ferris wheels have been punched. The main wheel only in the center, and the outer wheel has punches at each spoke. And the Ferris wheels need the cushions as well. So I put the brad through the cab, and I put the small cushion on. and a large cushion, and then I'll attach that to the wheel. Now on the back side, I'll use the last little cushion. So I've got all my cushion layers on, and I'll close the brad. Now you don't want to close the brad real tight because then it won't spin, so you want to leave the brad a little bit loose. Okay. I went ahead and positioned my roller coaster where I wanted it to be, and I used the Lawn Fawn Coaster Critter add-on to cut out that slide. But you need to keep that piece to glue back onto your card base because you'll elevate the card front with foam tape uh, to enable everything to work properly. And so that's, that piece you cut out with the slide will glue onto the card base and this will sit above it. Now the roller, um, rather the Ferris wheel, um, I used a little flower brad from Recollections, just for added cuteness, but um, that brad will go through the card front and um, the back Ferris wheel piece will actually be glued onto the card front Okay, to make the little car go on the track, uh, you need to use, some people use a penny. I use these replenishments from my favorite things. They have two shapes. They have a, the round disc or they have the tic-tac shape. I don't know. They're just they're little slider elements. And um, then you need to use a, a piece of cardstock behind it to facilitate the sliding mechanism and I just connect everything with a glue dot and works really well slides back and forth nice it'll work better once it's mounted on the cart and now I'll put the Ferris wheel on and I'll lay out all the parts and pieces. All right, so I've positioned all my pieces and I've mounted the Ferris wheel. I glued the back piece of the Ferris wheel onto the card front and um, poked a hole through the center of the Ferris wheel and put the brad through it. So now I have a spinning Ferris wheel and a functional roller coaster. And so I'm ready to mount this on to my Nina Slimline card base. And it measures eight and a half by three and uh, three inches. Now, when I put the foam tape backer on, I have to make sure that I clear these discs um, all the way around this. Even when I add foam tape around for support, I have to make sure I leave clearance here. Otherwise, it'll get stuck to the tape and the roller coaster won't move. It's not so much an issue with the Ferris wheel because it's really just that piece. You don't want to tape that piece though. I've got the back all taped. Um, before I actually tape it down, I'm going to uh, place it, eyeball it, and put my, get my uh, track piece glued down. So 
I'll do that off camera and be right back. One thing about the foam backing, it's really for the cushioning, obviously, but um, I don't peel off all of the backer tape. Uh, I, I leave it in place because there's really no need to stick it all down once you've got the four edges on. And if I mess up and put it down crooked, it's a lot easier to peel it off with just the four outer edges stuck. That's just a tip. And that's the finished card. So I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial and I'll have all the supplies I used linked below. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe.